from the futuristic studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan, now with LED lighting for the bright, vivid colors that you are now watching. This is... The Android App Show, episode number 69. This week, we're talking about the new Android market update from Google. Pretty Ooh. exciting stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to the Android App Show. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. We're just monkeying around in the studio here. It That's may right. look a little different on the recording, on the uh, video here, because we are trying some new lights out. We've got these LED lights in here. It's all LED lit. It's kind of weird. It's very punchy. It's very contrasty. Yeah, it's. I I think it, it definitely changes the feel of the studio to more of like a stage. Yeah, it's sharp. Because we have the, you know, the lights, mm -hmm. the front lights. We have... Backlights Back behind lighting. us, and you're not supposed to look directly into them like I just did. No, because then you <laughs> see little dots. <laughs> yeah, little you LEDs. get this. Yeah, the little four. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Yeah. But it is. it does look good. It'd be a blind spot Link. there for a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but we're also going to be getting some big Kino Flow lights up in the front here to kind of help with the color a little bit because, you know, we're, yeah. we're a lot of people are upgrading their studios these days and, you know, well, really, it, it, this uses a lot less energy yeah. than what we had going before. A lot and, less. And, you, know, you know, if you can do something to help the environment or the electricity bill, why not? You know? <laughs> yeah, and since we're making up with it by running air conditioning now also, yeah, I guess that kind of evens it out. Well, in the summertime. So it'll be kind of weird in the wintertime. It'll be cool and there won't be air. It'll be all kinds of. I know uh, it'll be weird. We'll be missing the heat from those lights, won't we? Yeah. We're we'll like, it's so cold in here. Wish we had some <laughs> fifteen thousand watts. That's lights right. Burning. Every summer we know it's coming, and it's just nice this summer to not have to experience it. Yeah. Because if you go back and you look at our our episodes from about this time last year, uh, it's right about this point in the show that the sweat started getting in my eyes, <laughs> and I had to take my glasses off and keep yeah. like. <laughs> You'd see cutaway shots because, like, Lane's wiping his face, and then Dave cut away from himself so he could wipe his face. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, not so it much. Funny. Anymore. Maybe it was funny for other people to watch. <laughs> yeah, especially when we got the when we got the cuts mixed up. So I'd be like, <sighs> <laughs> yeah, right on screen. Yeah, yeah, that did happen a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it was good. So uh, I guess we we have some pretty good stuff to cover this week. Uh, should we get right into the app reviews then? Let's do it. Uh, this first app is called Home Switcher. This is a tool. Uh, we're getting back to reviewing a couple tools. What a tool. So, indeed, what a tool. Uh, this is a very handy app, though, especially uh, this app kind of requires that you use other home, uh, like, alternatives. So, or if you like trying out other home alternatives, you never know. Uh, but this, uh, this one is definitely for you. Typically, in order to like when you try out a new <laughs> when you try out a new home a new home screen uh, <laughs> alternative app yeah. such as ADW, which I use, Launcher Pro is also a good one. Uh, there's also the Go Launcher that's good. Uh, when you try out a new one, when you install the new launcher, it will go ahead and come up and uh, prompt you then the next time you hit your home button to say what is the you know what launcher do you want to use you just installed a new one uh, but if you're like me and you like keeping several of them installed at the same time and then when you get updates or whatever you like to switch back and forth every now and then just to try them out uh, or if you like to keep uh, like I, I used to keep a special launcher just for the show uh, so I could organize my apps and everything on there uh, this is the app for you uh, because instead of having to go into yeah make sure that's hung up yeah. Instead of having to go into your settings and then applications and then finding your current home, uh, your current home app, yeah. and then going like click on that and then scroll down to clear defaults, like you had to go through all that. This one app will let you just open right up and change home screen. So if we want to, let's go to the uh, the screen mirror. 
And you quit playing with the monkey. <laughs> uh, so here it is. It's that back and forth icon down there. The, 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 the screen mirroring is uh, it's a little it's bit a little, weird. A little, little monkeyed up. It's fine, see. though. This isn't that... Uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a quick we'll switch this. and see. There we go. That's better. That's better. Not Maybe. That's much worse. No. no. We have to do it again. There it is. Uh, is it set to auto change all the time? Or? Yeah, I haven't figured that out. Okay. So, uh, right now I have uh, ADW Launcher and ADW Launcher X installed. So you can, uh, once you pop open this app, they have, uh, you know, a handy little advertisement at the top that supports it because this is a free app. Uh, but you can launch, like right now I was in EX, so I'll just go to the regular launcher. I can hit launch, and then boom, it'll take me into uh, the regular launcher. And what you see here is basically the default that comes with Cyanogen mod. That's cool. So I can open up my app drawer, scroll on down here to home switcher, and then you can just launch ADW EX. So, you know, if I'm in uh, whatever program and then I decide to hit home, it's going to go to my default one. Uh, but if I open up the, the home switcher and say, nope, I want to go back to ADW launcher, I click set default. Oh, no. It forced closed. Don't do that. It worked before. <laughs> <laughs> Because they, they have one, uh, I'm pretty sure I installed the right one. Oh, no. All right, let me try a setting. Yeah. Oh, guys. What the heck's going on? What happened? Don't your home launcher force? What happened? Let me go ahead and, and do a search on here for a home switcher. HPME? Yep. That's nice. how I spell home. Nice market. Yeah, a little bit more on that later. Yeah. Home Shuisha. Let me try the Froyo one. Oh. We're doing it oh. live. Doing it live. Yeah, my battery's getting low. Maybe that's why. Oh, it couldn't be downloaded. Probably because I don't have Froyo. Yeah. Well, geez, guys, you need to fix this. I'm on, <laughs> on gingerbread. And apparently it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't work now. I don't know if there was an update or something. I just install all updates, so I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, but it'll list out all your home screen stuff here. Uh, if you're on a lower version, again, uh, then you're you'll probably want to do the Froyo one or whatever. Um, but this it worked great before, so I don't. I really hate to uh, dissuade you from trying out this app. Yeah. Uh, because it's much easier than the current method uh, that everybody has to use to change home screens. Huh. So. But you can't show it, can you? No. Oh. So give it a try. If it works on yours, that's great. But it's not working on mine. Demo fail. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be giving them an email. Sorry, should have tried it out right before the show, but. It was working before, I swear. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, whatever. But that's the concept anyway for you. Uh, and that's Home Switcher. Check it out on the market. I got a feeling it'll probably work for your phone. Maybe mine just has too high a version number or something. I don't know. It's too awesome. Yeah, maybe it is just too awesome. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's it. Like so, it. But if you have Android 2.2, uh, mm -hmm. you'll want to go with the Froyo version. Froyo. So if you just search for Home Switcher, it's two different words. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see two results right at the top, the Home Switcher. And then another one that's Home Switcher for Froyo. You uh, click on that, and that'll work on your 2.2 devices. Cool. So, uh, yeah, definitely email us if you try it out. If it works on your phone, uh, I'd like to I'd like to know if it's just specific to my Evo or uh, Cyanogen mod or what. Mm -hmm. I have to do some research into that. Sorry, guys. Nice. So, but it's a free app. It's easy to try. Uh, this next one is not free, though. No. So I did a tool, and I'm going to do a game. Uh, this is one that's not very popular. I checked on the market. It has between 100 and 500 downloads. It's not popular? Uh, no. Wow. And it's called WizKid Junior uh, with the period after the junior, and that's three different words. 
So WizKid JR. Oh. Sorry, a little Can't bit see. of HDMI Ruckus. fuzz going on there. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pull this up here. The, what's what's great about this is, I guess first off, the sound. And it, there it is. Oh. So you have uh, you can turn off the sound effects down here right away, or the music if you don't want to, or click on how to play. It'll pull up a a nice little I don't know what you'd call it tutorial. So, but and uh, I'm still beginner wizard. I'll go here to start game. All right. So the point of this, you have mana on the top left, which is pretty much your life meter. And you have to draw lines of three or more to destroy things. And the the bigger the combo you get, see I got a five chain right there, uh, the better it is. And I guess like you you earn uh, stuff down here along the bottom to unlock. And then it, it gives you this handy, very annoying, we're switching waves sound. That's so, what that noise was that you were playing. Yeah, with. you have to kind of get over that. It's kind of like, it's kind of crazy. So when you want to destroy these guys, like anytime you see these faces, yeah. you want to get rid of that. Ugh. It's like Bejeweled. Yes, it's very similar to Bejeweled, um, but it does have a couple other uh, little hooks, you know, something that's just a little different. I love these games. It's like, there's one for the iPad called Bubbles. Yeah, how's it, how's it spelled? Do they have a cool alternative <laughs> spelling? No. <laughs> Ooh, look at this chain. Dang, chain net. Oh yeah, oh. I started too early. Why was I getting munching? It eats other guys. Is that you, good? You know, like, I don't think it is. I don't know that for sure, but I don't think that you're supposed to be letting them eat your stuff. Okay. Here we go. Look at that chain. Ooh, look at this one. Pretty good. Destroyed a guy and had a pretty good chain. Off the hook. So you see my mana meter on the top left. <laughs> the more that you get, like it's supposed to increase your mana. Is that right? Am I thinking of that right? Sure. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Boom. Eight chain. But if you if you don't go fast enough, like your mana will wear down, and then you will lose. Okay, let's see, I still have moves. I was kind of waiting to see. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Horrible. Too slow. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Gotta wait until this is battle. Oh man, I shorted myself on that. Yeah. You saw that. <laughs> How come you didn't say anything? I saw it coming. <laughs> so, use my hammer here. Destroy that one so I can get these across the top. Oh, interesting. It's a handy little power up you can use every now and then. Do they call that hammer time? I call it hammer time. If they don't, they should. Here we go, next wave. There we go. I just get so excited, you know, I got to start playing. Does right it away. penalize you for that? I don't believe so. I hope not. Oh, nice. Nice. oh man. Oh, man. There we go. Yeah. Wait, so is it by color? Yeah. What about, are there different, no, there's not different shapes. No, the colors and are always, like the colors and shapes are always the same. Yeah. Which is a nice little addition there for the color vision impaired. I see. So is there a higher level where there's like the colors and shapes are different? I, uh, no. It's a free tip. It would be good. <laughs> if there's any developers in this thing. <laughs> oh. Yeet. Black me off. Not yet. Not yet. Come on. 
and excited. Battle! Battle! Sorry, that was that was me. You need to get down your your Mortal Kombat screen. Mortal Kombat. Play the music. Do it again, Lane. Do it again. What? <laughs> Say that. You Say trying that. to you trying to throw the echo on me? Yeah. But the Mortal Kombat. That's pretty good. Come on. Not yet. Battle. <laughs> you playing with the echo? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have my earphones on today, so. Battle! Can you hear the audio? Shoot. Shoot, Here down. we go, here we go. There it is. That was a good combo. Yeah. Getting pretty high. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to take these guys out. Where can I, can I put a hammer? hammer it's going to give me some good. we got that's pretty much it <laughs> i mean i'd love to s sit here and watch you play all day but it keeps on with the not yet i don't know if it's uh oh battle I forgot the battle. battle oh sorry people oh that hurt my ear there there we go. Game yeah. over. my mana ran out yeah. so what do you think of all the, of these sound effects i like sound effects New are. spirit unlocked, Captain, slash and burn. Big bomb. There we go. It's my initials up at the top above my last ones. It's very cool. So, there you go. Oh, quit. And then they have, that was the classic arcade. And then they have super free play where you can set, you know, all kinds of stuff. The spirit, anger, the speed. These parts, I don't quite understand this. You know, selecting the spirits and stuff on the yeah. bottom. <laughs> um, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, they just, you know. That's my new power up right there, though, that bomb. That's going to come in handy later, I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah. So, that's, that's it, it for, for that, that though. though. But like I say, it's 99 cents. Uh, it's not really. It's not really that popular on the market right now, so you can be one of the first people to download it. Uh, again, it's between 100 and 500 downloads. Uh, it's called WizKid Jr. So it's a nice little twist on the Bejeweled. It's a super fun theme. little game. Uh, I, mean, I, like, I love the music on there. I kind of yeah. wish they'd take that, that when they're switching the levels, get a different sound or take the edge off that, because that's very... It's like Psycho. It's like, wee, wee, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of bad. I could do without that. Yeah. Other than that, pretty good. Yes. So, some some cool stuff. A couple good apps. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what do you say we do some news? Oh, let's do news. Ooh. <laughs> so. Oh, wait for it. Wait. We could do this. Android news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no effect on your voice. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's like, you know, you oh, wait, shoot. <laughs> when, you're yeah. <laughs> when you're doing the effect on the voice, you don't do the echo, too. That's <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So uh, the big news this week is the market update. There was a very large update to the Android market. Yeah. Some say it's kind of got that Metro UI Look to Metro it though. Looks like the Windows, Windows 7. 7. Windows Phone 7? Yeah, Windows Phone 7. I don't know about all that. So I can see that a little bit with the, you know, the tiles and stuff, but yeah. I don't know. 
So if you want, do, do you want uh, to show the we audience? can pull up a preview when I talk about some of the uh, some of the stuff that's got on here. I think it would be appropriate to do that. So here is what you get when you first load up the uh, the new market. I don't even know if it does. Uh, well, I'll no. show you. This is like the that's all good. portrait, which is how most people use that market. Uh, the update's going to roll out over the next couple of weeks to phones with Android 2.2 or higher. Uh -huh. So if you don't have 2.2, yeah. then you are kind of screwed, uh, frankly. Dang. But uh, uh, they have these new super categories now for apps, games, books, and movies. Uh, so you can go in and actually rent movies now. Pretty cool stuff. Renting movies. Some Battle Los Angeles Whoa. for four bucks. Really? The cool thing is, like, it streams it right so to your phone. Can well, you, go ahead. Can you watch these on your computer then also? Uh, I don't think that you can. I think it's only for, only for Android devices. Android devices. I'll, I'll look into that, Wait, though. Did, whoa, dude. But it does rent them to, like, it, you know, tablets or phones. It does someday, all, It's all the same. Someday Google TVs? Maybe. I'm just saying. But they do have Honeycomb coming to them, so... Yeah. Someday. Let's Let's see if I can believe it. Believe I it I I it. It's got movies on the online market. Yeah. I don't know uh, if that'll work, though. I'll, I'll come back to that. Uh, but you can also pin the movies directly to your uh, device once you buy them uh, so that you can stream, of course, online on uh, the movie, you know, on demand, I mean, whenever you want to watch it. Oh, yes. uh, but just like on Google Music, you hit that pin and it will download the movie to your device so you could watch it offline anywhere. Yeah. Uh, which essentially means, you know, especially if you're on a data cap, if you're not on Sprint in the United States, or, you know, uh, you're pretty much anywhere else in the world or on another network in the U.S., uh, then you're going to want to, well, I guess it doesn't count for other places because it's not released outside of America. Uh, but you're going to want to pin that when you're on a Wi-Fi network. Get it downloaded, and then you can watch it later whenever you want. The other cool thing is uh, they've changed moving around to swiping. So it always opens up to the featured section of whatever you're looking for. Um, but if you swipe from left to right, then you'll go over here to categories. And uh, these are for movies. Uh, but then if you swipe the other way, you'll go to the top. And for this is top rentals. And then new. So pretty cool stuff here. Um, pretty much, you know, just whatever. You can rent movies on the Android market. That's cool. Enough said. <laughs> um, but you can also go into apps, uh, and they have a little bit more full-featured uh, stuff going on here. So you have categories, which there's tons of categories. And then again, the featured. Uh, and again, uh, now, but now they have the top paid, top free. Swipe again and go to top grossing, which is like the, uh, it's earned the most money for the developer. And you'll see free ones in here because uh, they have in-app purchases. Uh, top new paid, which kind of cuts down the, so they're just all time. They, I don't know what the, you know, there's probably some algorithm that kind of cuts it off, you know, to keep it new. Uh, the top new free, which is cool. Shaky Towers up there. We just reviewed that. And Google Plus. Uh, let's see. And then Trending, which is like the hottest of the hot. So you can go through there. Uh, but the swiping thing, very cool. I like that a lot. Uh, the other thing I kind of like about this is the staff picks. This is something that they've kind of taken, I think, directly from... Uh, Apple, because they're never really worth staff picks on the Android market. Yeah, no. uh, but they've they've just about always had it on iTunes. Yeah, and that was something that came over from. Uh, well, I don't know. I guess I should take that back because they've they always had the featured content, uh, which is still they're still featured on here. Um, but I don't know. Calling it staff picks kind of changes it a little bit. You know, gives it a different feeling. So let's go back to the main one. 
interestingly enough, they have put games now in their own like super category, and then they have all these different sub uh, sub categories for games, and it's pretty much the same as apps. There's Tank Hero. There's another one we reviewed. That's pretty cool. I don't think we reviewed Cut the Rope, did we? I don't know. That's a good one, though. No, we did not. I was playing that quite a bit, let me tell you. Uh, so, yeah, well, this is actually a little weird. Top free and top paid is all they have on here. Whereas if you go to apps, instead of top free and top paid, they also have all the, the top grossing, top new paid, you know, everything I just covered. That's not available on games. That's a little disappointing. Um, but now say you want to look at, let's see. What was it? We'll go to games. Find something like Tank Hero. Now they have these, uh, this kind of sliding thing to preview screenshots. So that's uh, very iOS-like. And some of the sliding and stuff up and down with the more buttons. Uh kind of uh similar to the way it used to be i don't know to me it's very uh it's like a it's like a an appealing eye candy upgrade so i'm going to go ahead and switch this from uh portrait into landscape mode so i'll pop this open here it won't let me switch into landscape jerks let's open up a different screen mirroring app maybe these guys will be down with it or it'll just totally crash my phone I like that. they're gonna opt with crashing my phone so let's uh let's move on then i guess uh we put a a link up for a video in the show notes that you can watch uh some of the new features and stuff I don't know if you want to switch the camera background. Uh, so we've got a YouTube video up that Google released kind of covering all the stuff too. So a bunch of new features though. Uh, totally new slick look. Uh, and the it kind of rearranges it too in an interesting way when you go into uh, landscape mode. So you'll want to check that out as well. Uh, but that's the big news this week, the market update. So what do you, what do you think about that? Uh, Adopting some, especially since, you know, iOS is stealing so much stuff from Android this upcoming uh, fall when they finally released iOS 5. Yeah. Android Android's finally stealing some stuff back from iOS now. I like it. So let's, uh, let's now hope for an update for Honeycomb devices because the market experience on a Honeycomb device is horrible. Yes. So it's bad. Um, but I guess let's move on to some quick news. Yeah. We've got a couple stories here that uh, you'll probably find interesting. Uh, definitely Android related. So uh, let's see. The first one I wanted to talk about. Uh, the Philadelphia Newspaper Group is going to launch uh, Android tablet sales. So the uh, Philadelphia Inquirer and the Philadelphia Daily News, the two biggest papers in Philadelphia, uh, they own philly.com. I mean, that's how big they are. <laughs> uh, they're going to deeply discount a tablet and ship it with four apps uh, that are designed to access their properties. So, like, they'll co you know come with, you know, pre-installed with Philadelphia Inquirer, Philadelphia Daily News. And they said Philly.com is going to have its own app, and there's some other fourth app yeah. that's going to come with it. But... Yeah. Uh, they are trying to take the tact of, you know, encouraging people to pay for the subscription still. Mm -hmm. So instead of just going online only, they're kind of, you know, it's like the the whole uh, razor versus the blade debate. You know, discount the razor and then make your money on the blades. And the newspapers now are saying, well, we're going to discount the heck out of an Android tablet and, you know, charge for subscriptions. So it's pretty cool stuff. I think it's an interesting idea. I don't know if it's going to pay out in the long run, but I don't know. It's not an iPad. You know, it wasn't an iPad that they did the deal with. I know. So 
It didn't go off. <laughs> so the other thing I wanted to... Uh, Did you say it wasn't an iPad? Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Woot Monkey. <laughs> yes. Um, you know what? There has been a lot of news recently <laughs> with video. Like, last week we had that whole Skype, or the whole um, yeah Facebook and Skype teaming together. You know, maybe not bringing it to the to the Android phone, but uh, uh, well, they do have video now on Android. It's not just for, for Verizon phones. Okay, so you can make video calls now over Skype. Yeah, over Skype. But Google is hitting this hard. I mean, when they came out with Circles, oh man, or Google Plus a little while ago. Yeah. Now they have that whole like, um, what is it? The the group thing, the huddle, huddle. Yeah. yeah. yeah but you can set up the multi video chat. Totally really awesome, cool. by the way. We should do that for like, just bringing people in on the show live. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll have to do a show. Like, if one day we can't get together, we'll have to do the huddle. Ooh, an yeah, Android app show the, huddle. Uh, the camera switching for us. <laughs> <laughs> that could be annoying. That'd be interesting, just based on your voice. Yeah. Boom, boom. And try and set that up in here. We wouldn't have to do that. Well, oh. wouldn't, wouldn't really work yeah. with the devices. No. But they are they're kind of expanding out though. Yeah. Uh they they you've now they're improving the Google Talk software um to st- to stabilize the video. That's Essentially cool. this is like just for when you're walking around making video phone calls. That's cool. Cuz if you're just setting it someplace yeah. it's not really going to be bumping and jostling or whatever. Um Unless but there's an earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> Which knock on wood, you know, we're in Michigan. The big but one. uh it's all, it, they said that there's also this other feature that uh, makes it so that it doesn't have to encode the video so much. Huh. I don't know what that means. Um, but basically, it's supposed to be easier on your processor. So that's always good. Because if it's easier on your processor, it's easier on your battery. It's probably because it's using hardware encoding. I don't know. Maybe. Because they're switching over to H.264. Just kidding. Yeah. Who, who knows? They're, um, they're probably in a, they're probably utilizing some of the WebM hardware encoding that's on some of their newer phones. That could be, but I mean, from from what I read, it's all software. It's all software. Yeah, they're saying that the software enables it to uh, send the video less encoded. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. Usually, more. I'm encoding not that deep into better. it. <laughs> Knees deep. Yeah. Elbows deep. You thinking that maybe it's going to just be like a, a more of a bandwidth hog then? Yeah. If they don't encode it as much. I mean, that's kind of the I don't know. Whatever whatever saves my battery, I don't care. <laughs> you know, like I say, I'm on Sprint. That's unlimited data. So Five gigs. If you want to use the whole pipe, uh, be my guest. I don't Five care. Five gigs. What? Five gigs? No. No? There's no cap? There's no all? cap. No. Hmm. That's what you get. So, yeah, Bradley, Brad's on the uh, T-Mobile. How many times have they contacted him? Oh, they don't contact you. They just, psh, you get that five gigs, and then they drop you right from 4G down to uh, 1G. Ooh. So you get 56K speeds. I think he was getting 60K. So pretty bad. Not good. But that's like the soft cap, they call it. So, mm-hmm. But this will be cool, though, so, you know. Yeah. The update coming out for Google Talk. Yeah. Better be, I'm sure that'll make its way into Google+. Plus. Another uh, bandwidth talk out there. The Motorola Zooms are getting yeah. their over-the-air updates rolling out. Yes. 3.2? Uh, yeah. Honeycomb 3.2. Uh, the interesting thing, there's some things that are specific to the Zoom that this is supporting. Um, some extras, too, that you might be excited about. Uh, of course, there's going to be bug fixes. Um, but there has, there's more hardware acceleration supported. Cool. Uh, and that's like for flash and for gaming. So that'll be, uh, you'll see a, a significant performance boost. Uh, there's going to be updated widgets. Cool. So the, the look and feel of the widgets are just more refined, uh, a little bit cleaner. Uh, the zoom mode for phone apps. I'm pretty excited about this. Zoom it's like mode. what the iPad has, where you do the 2x. Oh, cool! And it goes, <laughs> blows them right up. Hopefully, it'll uh, be a little better. But yeah, uh, but this is gonna. It does the same thing for uh, the Motorola Zoom. That's cool. So, and, it, and really for every device, 
that gets 3.2. So so does it does it just do a 2x or does it actually just zoom it to fit or something? It's a zoom to fit. That's cool. Whereas like the iPad, yeah. I think is just yeah, you know. Well, because with Android, they they develop for so many different sizes that you could have an actually higher higher size version of the app. Yeah. And it just has to zoom it up a little bit. It doesn't have yeah, to go for the exactly. smallest. Exactly. That's cool. Especially with these phones with the QHD displays now. Oh, yeah. Uh, people are programming for those. And it, and if you have a zoom, it's only just a little bit yeah. bigger. So, you know, what do you what do you want, right? A little nasty. <laughs> uh, support for the SD card slot, finally. So that full-size SD card slot you put in, you can actually uh, put an SD card in there and it'll work. <laughs> That's so, good news. Yeah. Um, but these last two are for non-Zoom devices, uh, support for 7-inch screens on Honeycomb tablets. So finally, we're going to start seeing 7-inch uh, Honeycomb tablets, I think, really becoming a lot more popular. Because, uh, I don't know, for me, we've talked about this before, 7 inches, my favorite. These 10.1 inches, it's just a little bit too big. So I think 7 is a sweet spot. Uh, and also support for Qualcomm processors, a.k.a. Snapdragon. So uh, that HTC Flyer that you have maybe, or the Evo View, uh, which is on Sprint. That's how it's branded on Sprint. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a 7-inch tablet that has that capacitive stylus as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has a dual-core Snapdragon processor. It's not t uh, Tegra 2. So up until this point, it has not been supported by Honeycomb. Uh, so there's some uh, pretty promising signs that that flyer might actually receive an update to Honeycomb sooner rather than later. So pretty cool stuff. I did put one note on here, though. Uh, I think uh, this is like my uh, feature request for maybe 3.3. 3. Um, if Google really wants to blow me away, I'd like to see uh, support for running phone apps as widgets on Honeycomb. <laughs> So it's like tiled phone apps, like yeah. four of them at once. Yeah, so the, you could put like Seismic on your home screen as a widget, and it would just be the phone app version on your Honeycomb screen, and you could scroll through it and everything, and then if you wanted to switch screens, you just gesture outside of that widget. Yeah. Um, but I think that would be pretty cool. I don't see why they, why they couldn't do that. I think tiling, tiling them would be pretty cool too. So if you have like, you have like four apps running at once... Oh yeah, like on having a, like a heads like where you could like pull out and it would like yeah. boom 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 show you all of them. Yeah, that's very similar to what that uh, uh, Notion <sighs> Ink Atom. You remember we talked about that quite a bit. Whatever happened to that thing? I, it came out, but the hardware was subpar, and uh, it has this hack hackneyed version of Android and no market support and Ugh. all kinds of bad stuff, you know. But what do you want? You know, they those guys really gave it a, a shot, and I, I hope to see them succeed, but they're not succeeding right now. <laughs> <laughs> I especially like that uh, the camera, the front-facing yeah. camera, was actually a slash back-facing camera. Switchy. You just pull it up and turn it around, pop it back down. Did you pull it, it up or did it, the other way. did it swivel? I mean, did it roll? Did oh, you're right. You're right. I'm thinking of one of the earlier prototypes. It just rolls. Yeah. Yeah, That's it was cool. on the edge, and it rolled back and forth. 180-degree roll. Yeah. Good catch on that. Yep. You won't get any <laughs> corrective emails from that one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Well, actually. <laughs> so, but like I said, I, I would like to see, I don't see why they, why they couldn't do that. Yeah. Let's have, uh, you know, phone apps as little tiles or whatever as widgets. Yeah. So blow me away, Google, you know, 3.3, .3, make it so. Totally. So I think that's everything we had to talk about tonight. Yeah, it looks like our notes are done there. Yep, that's the top. We're down here at the bottom. It's my oh, Chromebook. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. Well, Lane, if people want to find out more about our show, where should they go? Yeah, they can go to the androidappshow.com, of course. You know, yeah. uh, They can view all of our episodes, including this one. Mm-hmm. So pretty good stuff on there. Also links out to our social networks and our apps. Yep. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, right? Yes. How is that? We got tweets. We tweet every once in a while. We uh, we tweeted today, actually. 
Yeah, got a retweet. Yeah, we 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 <laughs> were retweeted a few times. All of them go directly to my phone, so I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah, Dave's phone. But he was like, "What'd you tweet?" Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I'm blown up here. Uh, that's at Android App Show. If you wanna make my phone vibrate, uh, that is weird. <laughs> uh, but something else uh, more entertaining than that would be. Visit our YouTube page, youtube.com slash the Android App Show. Uh, we post all the videos on there also. If you prefer to watch on YouTube, as I know some people do, uh, it's on there. The full full episodes. Good times. Great oldies. Um, they're all on there. Uh, you can also watch some of our other shows like uh, the Android Tech Show. That's right. We did the one last week, right? Yeah, I had the Droid Incredible 2. That was cool. On there. Uh, but pretty Good much uh, there's a bunch of different hardware reviews, mm-hmm. hardware news, uh, too, uh, when, when we have it. so Oh, good times. <laughs> That's fun. We do a couple other ones, too. The iPad Show at iPadShow.com. And, yep. Mm-hmm. And we're, of course, in, in waiting for the Google TV Honeycomb update that we were promised was going to come this summer. It's getting near the end of the summer. Yeah. Well, so halfway almost. Well, yeah. Yeah, probably halfway. Yeah. So, I'd like to see that. I would like to uh, see that. And we'll also. be revving back up uh, our Google TV show. Mm-hmm. So. And you can find all of those and many more podcasts on the Blueberry Podcast Network. We are members over there, and we support the community, and they got some good shows over there. I, yeah. Well, was saying they have some good comedy shows, even. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. tons of good stuff on there. And it's, it's all independently produced. Yeah. You know, so you, you'll find, uh, you know, some of it's a little rough around the edges, but that's genuine. Yeah. You know, and so, and most of it's genuinely funny. So, good stuff. Awesome. Well, we'd like to take this moment and thank you for watching. Yes. We will be back next week with some more great entertainment about Android apps and phones. We hope you join us, and we will be looking forward to that time. Oh, wait, what? Hello? Yeah? No, that's the wrong number. This isn't... No, this is not Leo's... No. Sorry. Bye. Oh, yeah, we get that. Awkward. (laughs) Weird. Uh, (laughs) Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. (laughs) I'm such a nerd. (laughs) 